when a game slaps itself with a warning, you can usually assume it's just PR speak. Someone saying, hey, look at us, we're super violent, edgy, and cool. But Detached comes with a much different warning, stating, this is an extreme VR experience that simulates sudden and dramatic acceleration, free-falling, twisting, and rolling, outright saying that it's specifically not for VR-sensitive players. This kind of stuff is exciting for me, because I don't suffer from motion sickness. But after playing Detached for the last six hours, I have a few warning labels of my own that I'd like to add to the back of the box. I'm usually a big fan of open worlds with vague mission objectives. I don't always need a game telling me where to go or exactly what to do next. But in Detached, you'll float around in zero gravity looking for computer terminal nodes or simply your next mission objective with absolutely no sense of direction. At first, the idea is pretty cool and even somewhat relaxing, accompanied by a stunning orchestral soundtrack. There's a real sense of solitude and tranquility when you're floating out there in space alone, but then you'll run out of oxygen or fuel or slam into some space debris at top speed, and it's back to your last checkpoint, that are all obnoxiously placed at the end of each objective instead of at the beginning of each new one. Which means all of your hard work, often upwards of 30 minutes to an hour, of collecting the hard-to-find nodes has been a total waste of time. In deep space isn't Liberty City. It's all just asteroids and steel with barely any landmarks that differentiate one quadrant of the map from another, leading to a perpetual feeling of being lost and after you've done the same mission four times in a row, you'll start wondering if any of this is worth it. But I assure you that, yes, it is totally worth it. Playing fast and loose with Sony certification rules, Detached perfectly replicates what I can only assume it feels like to be an astronaut. You're given three control options for your DualShock 4, Arcade, Astronaut, and Simulation that double as a difficulty slider. But take that aforementioned warning seriously. No matter which one you pick, be prepared for a bit of wooziness right off the bat. Traversing space in zero gravity and being able to turn on every access takes some getting used to, upwards of 30 minutes to an hour. But it feels absolutely incredible, basically like an astronaut simulator. And regardless of the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, that's something everyone should experience. I've been playing PlayStation VR games since launch, so very few games are able to trick my brain anymore and convince me that I'm moving when I'm actually not. It helps that the scenery is, although repetitive with some minor texture poppin', often gorgeous with every rock and space station edging towards the realm of photorealism. You might get sick of exploring this wasteland, but you'll never get sick of looking at it. Multiplayer adds some enjoyment to the mix with PvP races and capture the flag using all of the power-ups you first found in single player. Boost shields, and rockets. And there's something very surreal about Ghost seeing another player active. helplessly floating out there in space with you. Shield module. Initialization failed. Charging module. Detached will never hold your hand. Sometimes you'll ask it to, and it says no way, and then pushes you into traffic. But it's beautiful, immersive traffic, and although the gameplay suffers from some antiquated design philosophies, the experience itself is simply too incredible to pass up. If you ever dreamt of being an astronaut as a kid, here's your chance to finally be one.